What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm here with another Galaxy Z Fold 3 video. Uh, on Twitter I posted some screenshots of my setup I'm running on the Fold, and some people were asking about it, so I thought I'd make a video on my overall setup. I'm actually running a new beta of Niagara Launcher, which they've uh, tried to optimize a little bit for foldables with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 in mind specifically. So I'll talk a little bit about it and a little bit about how it's working. I'll also talk a little bit about my wallpaper. This wallpaper here uh, is part of a brand new wallpaper app that I'm really a big fan of. Uh, it's called Squirrel Walls by Chris Lacey, uh, who is also the developer behind Action Launcher uh, and quite a few other really nice apps that I'm a big fan of. Uh, it's got a bunch of different uh, wallpaper patterns you can change with gestures, and it actually moves around. Like as you touch it, you can see kind of as you interact, with the screen, it kind of moves the wallpaper around, which is kind of a really cool, kind of a really cool thing that I like about Swirl Walls. So if you're interested in this, um, Chris is adding new features to it all the time. He just rolled out a really nice update that had quite a few uh, new wallpapers. It actually works pretty nicely on the fold. One thing I will say is that uh, I probably should maybe mention this, Tim. I don't know how many other people have used the Fold with it. I tweeted a screenshot, and he said he was glad to see it work. It does work, but the screen does sometimes go kind of completely black when you open it, um, which is something you don't notice with the default Samsung you know, situation. I'm also running a custom launcher, so, um, you know, I, I don't know. With the Samsung wallpaper and the default Samsung wall, uh, launcher, you don't notice that. But, of course, it could be the launcher or the app, you know, and it's also a beta version of, of Niagara. So Niagara is a really cool launcher that's been around for quite a while now. Basically, you've got this little list of your favorite apps that appear right here. Uh, and then you also can do some folders. Like here I have a folder with some apps that I use for XDA for my writing over at XDA. Uh, Asana for task, Aftership for keeping track of packages, Slack for, you know, teamwork, and then keep notes for kind of lists and stuff for various articles and reviews. Then over here, you've got an alphabet which kind of shows you if you want to get into your apps, you just tap around and it shows you all of your apps. It's really nice if you have a really large list of apps and you don't have to swipe through your app drawer all the time. Uh, you can do quite a few cool things over here. You can search the app list. Over here, you can also uh, set up the Niagara button, which I want to show you guys this live. Um, and if you click OK, you set that up and it kind of long press on the action to show you what you want it to do. You can edit the tap action, the swipe action, uh, all those kind of things. Uh, I also bought the Pro version, um, which is kind of cool. You can enable the Pro badge. It gives you a custom icon there on the home screen, which is kind of cool. Uh, at the bottom, all the Niagara settings are here at the bottom of the list in Niagara settings and the launcher. Uh, if you go in here, there's a lot of really nice features. They've got a calendar, weather, and media at a glance widget that actually shows up in here. Um, that's up here at the top. You just tap on that. kind of shows you your, your agenda, your schedule, the weather, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, if you go back in there, there's a couple of other really cool things as well. You can hide apps. You can also kind of choose how notifications will show up with previews or or summary. You guys can kind of see the, the different options there at the bottom. Uh, enable the Niagara button. I already showed you guys that. Quick lock gesture uh, by double tapping the alphabet to lock the screen, which I think is a pretty cool feature, actually. Uh, you can choose a music app to launch quickly as soon as you sort of connect some headphones. Uh, swipe up to search. Sort all of your apps by usage, which is nice. If you use some apps more, uh, when you go to that part of the alphabet, they'll be in there automatically. Uh, and then you can also connect some apps for advanced configuration like KLWP uh, and Sesame, which I haven't really had a chance to play with that quite yet. You've also got folders and pop-ups, like I showed you the XDA folder that I'm using uh, there on my home screen. There's also some uh, advanced features that come with Niagara Pro. Like I said, I already subscribed uh, to Niagara just to play around with it. To see all the various settings. Uh, you can also change the icons. I'm using the Niagara dots, which I think looks really clean. Change the uh, shape, change your font. Of course, you can use a custom icon pack. They've got their own wallpaper collection here, which is also uh, some nice ones. You know, I showed you the one that I'm using now, of course, from Squirrel Walls. Um, but there's that as well. You can choose to hide the alphabet, hide the status bar, hide the names of your favorites if you want to make things look even more clean and simplistic on your home screen. Uh, I kind of like having the names there just because otherwise you only see the color of the dot and that kind of makes things difficult. It also can set the text color uh, depending on your wallpaper and things like that. Now, a couple of things about it. It is in beta, so there is the occasional hiccup 
The other thing is, as far as I can tell, there's no way to customize a different list of favorites on your home screen for the cover display versus a list of favorites on the inside display. That would obviously be a really nice feature for foldables, and they are gonna make some more features for foldables, I'm guessing, because in their blog article about launching this, they were talking about the different features they were considering you know, adding in the future and feedback. So that is a possibility um, that we'll see that in the future, but adding custom apps for the inside display and the cover display would be nice uh, as well. And then I also you know, mentioned there are some bugs kind of jumping in and out of apps. You see it takes a little bit of a delay uh, to jump into an app like Twitter there. Again, I don't really know if that has to do with maybe swirl walls or the launcher or maybe the interaction of the two, of course, because I am running a beta, like I said, of the launcher. And then swirl walls also, as far as I know, I don't think Chris has really put any particular, I don't know if he's really put any particular um, focus on foldables yet. You know, he said he was glad it works nicely and it does work in general, but you do have a little bit of lag there. Uh, and then the other issue is, of course, as I showed you, um, jumping to the inside display, you'll see a little bit of a black screen before it refreshes. But overall, I like it. Uh, I like some of the things they've done, like they've adapted the list. You notice the list sizing does adapt to the different displays so that it fills the display nicely. Um, that is some stuff they put into and thought about for foldables. Um, you can also do mouse and keyboard support uh, on here now. They've done a lot of things to really think about how it works with the fold. Uh, there's a few more things maybe they could do, but so far I'm really happy with it. Actually gonna stick with it for a little bit over the Samsung launcher just because it's something new and uh, really fun to use on my Galaxy Z Fold 3. Otherwise, um, people always ask about battery life with custom setups. My battery life has actually been pretty good overall. It hasn't been bad at all. Of course, you can see I am using dark mode, so you know that sometimes helps. But the Swirl Walls wallpaper, even though you know it's got that interactive feature, it doesn't really seem to drain too much battery more than you know what I was draining before on the Fold. So I've been pretty impressed with it overall. Really like the setup. If you guys want, I'll drop the links to Niagara as well as Swirl Walls below. Uh, let me know what you're rocking on your Galaxy Z Fold 3 or whatever phone you have. Any cool icon packs that you guys have heard of. Um, I haven't really customized my phone much lately, so I've been kind of getting, you know, a bit of an urge to do so. And sort of this is my first, you know, customization that I did with the Fold. I thought I'd show it to you guys. Anyway, you follow me on Twitter. I got a lot more tech reviews coming up, more stuff on the Fold, Galaxy Watch 4, maybe a little iPhone stuff, uh, Pixel Pro, whenever that comes out, all that cool stuff. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, I'll drop my uh, handle below. I haven't done it the last couple of videos because I just keep forgetting. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.